I am once again back here, human. Get up. It's not a proper behavior to greet your mistress, isn't it? Good, good, good. I have uh, some news for you. I have grown tired of keeping you in this cell. You do nothing all day and you get fed for it. It's way more than you deserve. Did I ask you to bring up the fact that you didn't come here spontaneously? How many times do I need to teach you your place? <sighs> Once again, all right. <sighs> You're lucky I was hungry. I could have broken something instead. Of course, I can still do it if you get cocky again. Do you have uh, any other complaint? No? Very well. Now, as I was saying, from now on, you will no longer languish in my dungeon. You've been entertaining, amusing sometimes, but it's time to earn your keep. Just because you've done all I told you to do until now, it doesn't mean I can change my mind. Tomorrow I could decide you are just too much of a bother and you will be disposed of. Quickly and painfully, maybe. And no, don't protest. Remember your oath. Your mistress is just and you will be her no matter what. Oh, so... You want to know what you will do from now on? <laughs> no, not yet. There is a time for everything. For now, focus on getting dressed. There are some death and clothes for you. Whatever you had before is no more than a bundle of rags now. It's barely enough to cover your intimates. And that's something that must be done as well as possible. It's not like I want to see you naked after all. Too many years. I know how the human body is and I've sort of gotten bored of it. Blood on the other hand. That's something uh, one does not simply grow weary of. I'll leave you to dressing up. I'll be back in a moment. And you'd better be ready then. Or... <laughs> Excellent. You finally see what will get you punishment. I appreciate the fact that you don't force me to waste my precious voice on giving you simple instructions. Are you done yet? Hmm, very well. It seems like you've been able to get dressed just in time. That lets us get on with the rest of the schedule. Follow me out of this dungeon. What is it? Oh, yes, that other guy. He's just useless. He's not coming with us. Do not ask me about him again. Here we are. This is a corridor of the castle. Yeah, it definitely is bigger than you thought. And since you feel so smart, tell me, does the castle keep itself in order or does it have to be cleaned? Tch, you didn't really think I'd use magic to keep it neat, didn't you? Of course I could, but 
magic spells don't materialize people, you know. And a life without people, without their little schemes to gain even a pit advantage over each other. It would be so boring. I'd probably blow up the wall cost a lot of boredom. Oh, no, no. You don't want me to show you the full extent of my power. If you were crying like a baby when I broke your arm, I cannot imagine how irritatingly childish you would get if I showed you some fireworks. Now stop asking questions. You may have understood that you're going to work here from now on. There will be more people too. Some of them are humans, like you, who have proven obedient and worthy enough to be kept here alive. You will help them keep the castle in order. And since you're the newcomer, I expect you to be the orders, as you would follow mine. Is that clear? Hmm. Oh, well... Yes, I said some of them are human. Most of them are not. <laughs> They're simply subordinate creatures that I have either captured or summoned from magical realms. Imps, fairies, orcs. There is even an elf. Oh, breaking her will was sublime. Elves are proud kind and do not bow easily. It took me almost a full year, but eventually I managed to bring her down to her knees. Oh, hearing her call me mistress is always an immense pleasure. Yes, of course she is more fun than you. A proud elf one of the most magical creatures in the world, who struggles to contain her ego when she speaks with me. And I know of her struggle. Her instinct screams for her to break the chains and defy me. But her experience told her that resistance is futile with me. She was never able to defeat me. And she never will, no matter how hard she tries. She is so amusing. And yet, there is something peculiar about you too. I think it's your blood. It's so warm, sweet, and it makes me feel a repressed rage that threatens to burn the whole world should it be let loose. I admit that this perspective is fun and I would like to see more from you in the future. But that's enough for now. I can tell you everything yet. The time is not right. You have yet to prove your worth, servant. Before I leave you to your cleaning duties, though, I want you to come in this room. Don't worry, I will do nothing too harmful to you. <laughs> Get in, now. Don't keep me waiting. Good, good, my little obedient servant. Now, take your shirt off. No, oh, I just said I wouldn't do anything too harmful. I'm a vampire of my word. Don't you believe me? No, do it. Hmm, excellent. The obstacle is out of the way. Now, come here and get on your knees in front of me while I sit on my armchair. A bit closer. Mm. 
You still have a pleasant shunt, but a bath would improve it. Yes, yes, your blood is still the best. Hmm? No, I mentioned it before. You have a remarkable blood. Perhaps even the best, yes. No, you must not think you're going to receive any further compliments from me. Now, put that shirt back on before your blood warms up enough for you to catch fire. Report to Errol, the elf. She's going to tell you what to do exactly. Off you go. Now, I have important matters to attend to.